Dear students, welcome back. With all that you learned in this course, you are now ready for the final assignment. I invite you to go to the UN website and have a look at the 17 Sustainable Development Goals, the so-called SDGs, as defined in Transforming Our World, the 2030 Agenda for Sustainable Development. As you will see, quite a few SDGs define straightforward infrastructure development goals. But I guess you will also notice that many of the SDGs that do not explicitly mention infrastructure are also directly or indirectly dependent on infrastructure, or at least related to infrastructure. The learning objective of this final assignment is that you make at least some of the concepts and tools that you are now familiar with operational in an actual case of infrastructure planning, management and governance in an urban context. Especially the concept of infrastructure as a complex socio-technical system is important here and the tool of actor network analysis. For the final assignment, we invite you to imagine yourself in the role of a strategy consultant to the municipal government. First, you choose the city of your case study, for example, the city where you live. Then choose one of the sustainable development goals with an explicit focus on infrastructure needs. Then characterize the challenge to be tackled for the selected infrastructure in your selected city. Define infrastructure development or performance goals for 2030. If possible, support your arguments with data from a reliable source and do not forget to give us the references. Then, analyze the network of actors which are or should be involved in the development of solution strategies. Do not forget to specify their specific interests and means in your analysis. For more information on actor analysis, you can check out our bonus modules. Then specify the public values at stake. Think, for example, of inclusiveness and fairness. Advise the municipal government on a strategy to meet the specified infrastructure challenge by 2030. This so-called strategy may be a range of micro-policies, as Eve Middleton-Kelly suggested, or a meddling through approach, as Hans de Bruyne suggested. But anyway, you need to stage a process towards achievable goals in 2030. And your process must be adaptive to unforeseen developments on the way. Specify which role the municipal government should play in the actor network and how this role relates to other roles, tasks and responsibilities in the actor network. And how can citizens be involved in developing and or realizing the new strategy? You may also want to take interdependencies with other infrastructures into account. Do not forget to include recommendations and the argumentation for those recommendations for infrastructure governments and regulation, which will help the municipal government to bring the new strategy into being. This assignment will make you think about the division of responsibilities between the public and private sector and civic society. It will also force you to think about the policy mandate of the municipal government. To what extent is the city's policy freedom restricted by regional or national policies? To what extent does the city depend on regional or national policy efforts or on neighboring cities to reach its goals? You will deliver your assignment in the form of a concise paper with around 800 to 1200 words. This is the first part of the assignment. The second part of your assignment is concerned with peer review. After you have submitted your paper for review, you will be given three of your peers' papers to review. And your own paper will likewise be reviewed by three of your peers. The final step is your self-assessment. Please check section 7.4 of the course for more detailed instructions on the assignment, on the peer review and your self-assessment. We believe that the process of peer review is more rewarding than the grade you will receive in return 
because it will give you a great and applied learning experience. It enables you to understand the evaluation process better, to learn how your peers argue their case, and enrich your learning experience with infrastructure issues that your peers face in other parts of the world. If you have any questions or concerns about the assignment, please post them in the discussion forum. And last but not least, let me say how much I appreciate that you have made it this far into the course. I truly hope you enjoyed the last module. And on behalf of the entire course team, I wish you inspiration and success in completing the final assignment.